All right, Slagmeister fans, we're going to watch another one off of this Toga Party compilation. This one's called Seniors with Dennis Quaid. Let's watch. All these big stars, not one of them is in the picture. Now this, this is truly a big name. <laughs> now that's more nicer. Yeah. Postgraduate work? You want me to pay for another year in college? I, I've carried you for 20 years, you bum. I never wanted you in the first place. Your mother thought it would be nice having a baby toddling around the house. I tried to tell her it would become a money monster would consume us. Expert, the a young Dennis special. Quaid, one of his early roles. No, Mom, that is not what I would call a sophisticated answer. These are all college what seniors he here. He said I was already a specialist in how to screw my parents. Everything you always this is Arnold. Sex, but we're afraid to ask. The nerdy friend of the uh, boys. She's busy, aren't we? Oh, come on, fellas, give me a break. I don't want to be the only guy to graduate a virgin. Well, you didn't go to college, you just get laid. Yes, I did. With you, huh? Oh, Arnold. Yeah, no, no, Maybe we will, Arnold. Maybe we will. He just heard about grants. Grants? What grants, Arnold? From all the foundations. They keep sending him letters asking if he needs money for any new experiments. Well, they'd give Professor Hagner a grant for any experiment he suggested, wouldn't they? Sure, he's a three time Nobel Prize winner. And forgery the professor. So they're going to apply it, for a grant. Misrepresentation. What misrepresentation? We are going to conduct it. Experiment, aren't we? But the foundation will expect the report. It's fraud. What fraud? They, they want to open a sex clinic. But you'll be paying the girls. That's oh, Priscilla Barnes as Sylvia. That's the girl that this could have been yours. Arnie has a crush on. Her golden arms caress your scrawny body. Yeah. Her hot lips kiss your withered parts. Oh, yeah. Her throbbing legs locked around your puny ass. This is Arnie with the I professor. The professor is played by Alan Reed, the voice of Fred Flintstone. He can have sex for what the human terms would be six or seven He's hours. He's doing research it's on the sex hours. lives of mosquitoes and trying to improve the sex hey, lives. Look closer. Does she seem unhappy? Professor Kaker is over 70 years So these people receive the now, grant and they the think it's signed by the professor. Men who might not want to have their names made public. Hence the name Professor. I move that before I land is prestigious, and Professor Hager asks another foundation for the necessary funds, we give it to him. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pain, just pleasure. It's so Arnie takes these uh, special pills that the uh, professor was using to improve the sex lives of the mosquitoes. Great, great grandson. And now that they got that $50,000 grant, they're going to use it for their own sex clinic for people. Now they need women volunteers. Concerning human behavior patterns. What's that mean? Will you screw? They get paid I for it, too. We're getting paid $20 an hour. That's for me. Is it? Sure. I'm majoring in business. I'll be getting paid $20 an hour for something I've been giving away for nothing. Proud to say they were part of it. Jeez, oh, there's Arnold. Arnold apparently has gotten with Sylvia now multiple times, and she takes a lot out of it. Don't let go, Arnie. He's off. Get the soup. So the girls start showing up to the clinic for their $20 and their sex you go session. You go up those stairs and you'll be paid there. Got it? Yes. Okay. Madam Research and Humanity, thank you, Miss Marshall. Come in, ladies. Come in. Uh, Rona Watkins. Of course, their male partners are all the, uh, the boys. Okay. Uh, the four of them. This is Dennis Quaid's first you partner. $20 an hour, too? Nope. Just the girls do. I think you've been had. Yeah. No, it's funny. I had sex lots of times before, but for the first time... Hurry. There's all kinds of different elements going on here. Hurry. No matter how much I scream, don't stop. Do anything you want. Everything you want. Tear my body panties off. Oh, my goodness! Oh, what are you doing? I'm ripping your panties! Oh, please don't tear them! Oh, I'm afraid! No, please! Well, come on!
this woman breaks into the professor's lab. She hears about the experiments going on and she wants to get involved, but she doesn't realize he's doing mosquitoes. Yesterday had copulation with three females. Today had intercourse with four. Jeremy. There's nothing to be afraid of, Steve. I feel so insecure. Trust me. Be gentle. Someday, thousands of American men and women will benefit from what we do in this bedroom. There's some role play also. Ready. I make believe I'm sleeping, and then you come in. Okay. I'm sleeping. Their clinic is extremely successful. an hour. 20. The girls get 20. We keep the difference. Yeah. They want to the turn a profit now. Show a profit. What that make us pimps? Not pimps. Philosophers. Why does the farmer sell the milk? So he won't boost the cows. Two hours. Men now a donate. A contribution of $100. That seems fair. Uh, can I schedule myself for four hours? Have you ever been with a liberated college girl, sir? No. No. You're almost 40. I wouldn't push my luck. They are a wild bunch, sir. Oh, my God. That woman is still trying to, uh... Sense is becoming a compulsive obsession to crawl up behind every female and... Get her kicks from the professor's studies. Right, woman! Who let you in here? I'm not looking, professor. Crawl up behind me. Ouch. Out, out, out! Oh, no. $72,000. Amazing. The Fanta Corporation is the first group who's ever turned a grant into profit. Sorry that we had to ask you to open the bank on a Sunday. <laughs> the Professor Hayden Fanta Corporation study promises to surpass the Kinsey Report and Masters of Johnson. <laughs> They get so successful that they get bought out. Willingly. That's ten million dollars. Ten? Fair offer. The woman thinks he's a woman. What do you want? He's a sexual dynamo. So she wants him. Stop torturing me. Take me. If you were. Stop teasing me. Close the code. You'll catch a cold in the boobies. Hang yourself to the press. We're through. He'll never tell the press. We will continue the study in his name. In his name? Murder? What'd you say? What'd you say? They're going to commit murder. To save the corporation. These businessmen want to get rid of to everybody save now. The corporation. So that woman and the professor get married. By the state of Nevada, I pronounce you man and wife. So the guys are captured in this big armored truck. The guys in the limo, we're going to have them dumped into the water, but the guy running the machine grabbed the limo by mistake. Boys do manage to get out of their car or truck, and the businessmen get dumped. Needless to say, she was quite disappointed. The business collapses. The boys decide to close up shop with a small profit. And 
and that's our film. Alright. Let's talk about this movie, Seniors. Now, I happen to have this movie, I think, on three different versions. I have it on this version here, and this uh, compilation Toga Party DVD put out by uh, BCI. I also have it on... Uh, like this four movie compilation, which I think was also put out by BCI. I think I have it on an individual DVD too, one of those really old uh, kind of see-through plastic ones that they had way back in the early days, like 1997, when when, when these DVDs started coming out. Um, the movie itself I'd actually never seen before until today. Um, I don't know if it was the greatest movie, but it, God, it was sure an improvement over the turd I watched yesterday called Getting Wasted, which is on the flip side of that current DVD, also on this compilation here. So this one had the goods. It had uh, several nudes in it, including one from Priscilla Barnes, who you might remember as uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, replacements uh for Suzanne Summers on um, Three's Company. Uh, she was on there. I'm not sure. Was she Terry? I think she was Terry. I'm not sure. Anyway, she was one of them. Um, and anyway, uh, yeah, it, we also have Dennis Quaid in one of his very early uh, uh, starring movie roles. So what we have are four college students who decide um, they're going to go into business. They find out that this professor on campus has been getting grants, uh, money grants, uh, to do a certain research. And one of these, one of their pals here, this guy named Arnold, works for the professor. So they decide they're going to basically... Uh, I don't, did they forward, they, they, they got the professor to sign this document saying that they want to do this sex research. So they get $50,000 to open up this sex clinic. And then they uh, get all these women to volunteer to have sex with them. And I think they pay them 20 bucks each. So they're kind of like pimps in that regards. And, of course, they are the test subjects or the male test subjects. So they get to have sex with uh, countless numbers of women, all in the guise of research. Uh, and eventually they decide to not only... Uh, do that, but they expand it as well to put out put it out to other people. So if you make a hundred dollar donation to the grant, you can be one of the male participants. So that happens. Next thing you know, they're rich and they end up selling the company for $10 million. In the end, though, they ended up uh, losing most of it and, and they lost it, but they ended up with a little profit of 50000 each or something like that, these four guys. And uh, that's pretty much the film itself. Now, the professor, incidentally, is played by uh, Alan Reed, who is the voice of Fred Flintstone, the original voice of Fred Flintstone. In fact, this was like the last movie he ever did. He died about eight or nine months after filming took place. And I didn't realize it at first, and then as you start to listen to him, you can hear, oh, it's definitely Fred Flintstone's voice you can definitely he's trying to play like this uh, I, I maybe with a, a scientist with like a german accent or something but you can definitely detect fred flintstone in that voice and like i said there's plenty of nude scenes in this movie especially in like the first uh, half hour of the movie uh, nudity wise it kind of peters out the second half but whatever right and this movie was just a little more fun it just had a fun overtone to it so anyway it's called seniors i think it's probably in the public domain which is why it's on so many different compilations and everything it's not the best quality film either in terms of the picture dvd quality i don't it's probably that same one all the other dvd versions as well but anyway you can get it out there pretty darn cheap five six bucks i'm sure you can get this compilation for like six dollars on amazon so well worth it for getting 10 films so anyway check it out it's called the seniors starring dennis quaid priscilla barnes is in it as well who has no speaking lines by the way but she does show her boobs check it out leave some comments down below we'll talk about it. it's called seniors watch it bye